When a patient with Parkinson's disease is treated with dopaminergic compound, especially levodopa, which is the most potent one, eventually they develop fluctuations in uh, performances, which could be motor, when the patient becomes slower, tremor reappear, rigidity, slow in uh, moving, and non-motor, so this period can also uh, present with uh, anxiety, depression, panic attack. They can actually appear together, or sometimes the patient can only have motor symptoms or non-motor symptoms. And this happens two or three times during the day, or sometimes even more, and they are called off period. They develop because the levodopa change in terms of pharmacodynamic, so the, uh, the each single dose become shorter. So in t instead of working for five of, uh, hours or four hours, you start working uh, for uh, two or three hours. And this mimic the pharmacokinetic of levodopa. So it is a mixture between the change in pharmacodynamic and problems in pharmacokinetic. For example, if a patient is taking a tablet and this tablet is not absorbed in the small intestine, the patient is actually off, and this off can be even very prolonged. When the patient develops off time during the day, uh, of course, we try to optimize the treatment, the oral treatment, and uh, try to avoid these off uh, periods. But unfortunately, some of these off periods remain there despite the best treatment. So uh, you need uh, what we call a rescue therapy. So a therapy that the patient can actually take uh, when he really needs. And apomorphine is a very fast-acting compound very powerful, similar to levodopa, but actually bypass the gastroenteric system. So it works in seven, 10 minutes when injected under the skin. So it's a, it's a perfect rescue therapy because it's fast acting, reliable, and very potent. Apomorphine can also be given as a continuous infusion with a pump in more severe uh, patient. Otherwise, you can use the rescue uh, for uh, off time during the day. Apomorphine is a very potent compound, very effective, but it's not widely used so far. And the reason is mainly because apomorphine is given with a subcutaneous injection. So either the patient has to inject himself with this pen or somebody has to inject the patient. So now, uh, doctors and patients are reluctant in using needles and pen, especially in the United States. But also in Europe, I mean, uh, 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 such a good drug should actually be more uh, widely used. So we believe it's a, especially a matter of the uh, delivery system. Uh, of course, apomorphine can actually cause some uh, side effects such as uh, nausea, vomiting, hypotension, but these are common with other uh, dopamine agonists as well. So we believe it's mainly a matter of the delivery system. Bearing in mind that apomorphine is, is a good, potent compound, but the delivery system is not well accepted by patients and doctors, New delivery system has been tested in the course of this year. So we tested uh, a spray, nasal spray. Uh, we tested also uh, some uh, uh, tablets, but uh, apomorphine is not absorbed in the stomach. So you need uh, a delivery system that actually use a different uh, administration way. So, I mean, that's why the subcutaneous. So um, there is a now a new uh, delivery system, is a film uh, which you can stick under the tongue and uh, this film deliver immediately uh, apomorphine under the tongue. The patient has to keep uh, the film in the mouth for about 40 seconds, one minute without swallowing 
and if the patient doesn't swallow, uh, the apomorphine is absorbed uh, through the oral mucosa and actually work in about seven, between seven and 15 minutes. And of course, uh, improve the off period of this patient. So it's, uh, the, it's, the effect is similar to the subcutaneous infusion, but it's much easier for the patient and, uh, uh, and of course is, uh, is much well accepted because you just stick this film under the tongue and in seven minutes or 10 minutes the patient is on again.